What ways can media be pirated to you guys' knowledge? <laughs> By uh, websites. Yeah. Or YouTube converters. Yeah. Uh, download apps. Give me examples of websites. So things like Cut Locker, Pirate Bay, ISO Vine, Bring Yeah. Yeah, Shush. Yeah, Cool. Yeah. Yes. There's loads of them. There's so many. <laughs> Have you seen any impact in anti-piracy ads? Um, probably not. Um, I don't think anything really stops it. If that what's your, if that's what it's you're almost thinking. like because it's that one ad of like, would you steal a car? Would you steal a TV? It's played on every single DVD, yeah, yeah. like ever. So yeah. it almost it doesn't actually affect no one watches anything. DVDs anymore because it's a There you go. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to make an anti-piracy ad campaign. What would you include in it in terms of colours, images, dialogue and music? I would put like, I would make it red. Because that sort of signifies the black band. And why it's not good. But big bold writing in capital letters. Because also signifies that it's not great. Um, so some sort of sort of heavy music. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. 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 That whole sort of making it in a negative light sort of thing. Um, yeah. But then, like, that's what the other one was, and that wasn't very effective at all. But I think oh. that's the only way you can take it. Like, what other way? I don't understand. Like, what other way can you get kids to not get free movies without actually physically stealing stuff? Yeah, it's a good question. You could like make it all like fluffy, and like, yeah, you just steal some movie and then like, bam, six police cars outside the house. Do you think piracy has a big impact on the film industry in terms of like film economy, things like that? I don't think so. Really. It's hard to see it if there is. I guess for um, like the big blockbuster, like Hollywood stuff, it's not so much because there's just so much money and so much issue around there anyway. Like tiny little indie films like yeah, um, I think Johnny Darko and like the old ones. Like Tiny ones that run like an independent label, they yeah. have everything it does. Sure, same with music I guess. Yeah, independent bands who are like just trying to make a living. Do you think action should be taken against people who pirate and websites who provide pirated films? Yeah, it's not, it's not really, it's not really right to take advantage of not pirating something that someone's tried on. Think of how much cinema tickets actually are. Seventeen pounds, really expensive. At really? Empire, and Empire's like crap. Yeah, but so it's really well found, really. but, um, uh, I think I think you got I think the only way it'd work is if action was taken on a website and the people made the website. Yeah. Because I don't think you can effectively you can't stop people. Stop people. Like the website's out there, you can't stop them doing it. But if it goes down, you could just make it a good one. Yeah, because Pirate Bay got shut down and they sent like a really sarcastic letter back to whoever shut them down and within like two days like six more sites have been set up. Honestly, if that was me and I made a film, I wouldn't be very happy. Thank you so much, guys.